Hi everyone, how's life and welcome to another one of my videos. Today I'm in Disneyland Paris in Disney Village, currently standing in front of McDonald's at Disney Village and we're gonna go inside, have a look at the menu and what they have to offer here in Disneyland Paris and yeah, come along. Now some people don't realize that McDonald's even exists here in Disneyland Paris but it very much does. It's at the end of Disney Village and it's actually a very popular place for families and guests to eat their lunch, dinners, even their breakfasts here. Um, you can see the back of Rainforest Cafe over here so you can kind of get an idea of where we are and then if we go that way you get to Earl of Sandwich on your right hand side, the Disney fashion store right in front of us. This is the steakhouse around here. And as I said of course because it's McDonald's so very much well known around the world and also it's pretty cheap in terms of its prices compared to some of the other food that you can get at Disneyland Paris. This restaurant does tend to get quite busy and so I'm currently filming this at quarter past 11 in the morning and even so you can see there are definitely some people inside the restaurant. So if you're planning on having your lunch or dinner or even breakfast here at Disney Village's McDonald's I would recommend coming during off time so not at peak times when everyone else is having their lunch and dinner. Right now at quarter past 11 obviously it's not the most popular time to have lunch but even so as you can see there are some tables that have been taken but this is probably the quietest you'll ever see McDonald's and with it being such a popular dining destination you can see there's loads of tables outside and today's a beautiful weather so a lot of people are choosing to eat their food outside in that big M as well which we had a look at earlier and yeah I'm excited to do this video because uh, the menu here kind of the things that they offer is a little bit different to what you know you might expect in the UK that's just always the case with McDonald's no matter which country you go to this over there looks pretty interesting though <laughs> it says notre premier burger so our kind of first uh, sweet burger and it looks like they've got some Nutella in there choco nuts I don't know I might have to get this though as my dessert we'll see and I actually haven't been inside this McDonald's since 2016 so that's what six years ago so yeah it'll be good to see what's changed and uh, what the locations like these days because I'm sure they've had some renovations done to it in the past few years yeah whoever wants to be in it come on our brother, by the way. <laughs> so I just bumped into the lovely Minal, and Hasib. And lovely to meet you guys. Have you had a good time in Disneyland Paris? Yes, yeah. so far it's, we're loving it. Best thing that you've and done. And make sure to follow her on YouTube. Aww, <laughs> you're amazing. Love her videos. They're amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, guys. Lovely to meet you. Anyway, so when we go inside, as you can see, it is already pretty busy. Most of these little self uh, ordering places are busy. And look at the queue here for people waiting for their orders. I'm going to go to one of these self ordering menus and get myself something. They've, of course, got a Mac Cafe as well, but that's always the case with uh, McDonald's in Europe I'm just waiting in line now to order my food okay so it's uh, finally our time let's uh, wait for it to get ready for us okay we'll just go for oh no sadly I'm not uh, so English here and eating in and then I pay with card and yeah this is gonna be the exciting thing so let's have a look at their sandwiches here oh that looks quite good the Rosset signature by McDonald's um, they've got a crook McDo as well which I have actually had before here in France not uh, from this McDonald's at Val d'Europe and then the menu options they have as well you can see the prices over here of course they do a happy meal too I think in terms of my menu I'm just gonna go for something that I actually know which is probably gonna be filet of fish that's normally my to-go thing so there you go and then I decided to go for the maxi menu which offers a dessert as well so I'm gonna just choose one of these ones and I think I'm just gonna go for the top one because it looks to be the original and I think that's probably gonna be it I mean is there anything else that might be interesting they do have a couple of salads of course and then uh, for children this is the menu here salads chicken nuggets double cheeseburger burgers mcfish donuts etc and of course macarons as well and actually I think I am gonna get some macarons just out of curiosity I'm gonna get the macarons from the Mac coffee section though so I might just get one of these cute boxes look McCafe and you can either get a box of macarons which looks very very cute or a box of these cannels but we're gonna do the macarons for this video and oh we can choose which ones you want okay let me just do that in a second you can see the little flavors that they've got here um, I'm gonna probably choose one of each to be honest right I've just paid I've got my receipt as well we are number CB19 so let's go and join the queue and wait for our order to get to us so here we are I've got my food here with me I ordered quite a lot also this is my view I decided to go upstairs I, I debated whether or not to sit outside because it's such nice weather but I think it's just a little bit too hot for my liking outside so 
um, here by the way let me just show you exactly what I ordered quite a lot the macarons I'm gonna have to take home with me and actually speaking of the macarons the macarons and also the McChocolate so that was like the sweet burger you get to collect those at the McCafe and I decided to collect them later I'm gonna have my actual meal first and then we're gonna go back down and collect those but I've got an orange juice some water um, I love the fact that they do like a pomme frite sauce here this is like a white sauce and one of my favorite types of sauce very similar to mayonnaise literally like made for french fries and they don't do this in the UK at McDonald's so that's nice and then here I've got obviously a very standard filet fish which as I said is normally my go-to meal it's nice and warm though very exciting I've got two fries for some reason because I think I got two menus with the drinks over here and uh, the croque monsieur let me just quickly show you that as well because that is quite a unique thing to uh, France because of course with it being croque monsieur there you go it's just a ham and cheese toasty and this is what it comes in like I've had this before it's all right it's nothing too exciting but if you like a ham and cheese toasty then you're probably gonna enjoy this one thing I will say though is to pack your patience as the saying goes because even at this time of day so I guess about 10 minutes to 12 now midday I got here about quarter past 11 it still took about 20 minutes for them to actually get me my meal so from ordering time to receiving my food about 20 minutes wait anyway let's give this a go I'm gonna take a bite of the croque monsieur just because I want you to see what it's like and it's been a while since I've had one of these so yeah curious yeah it's not bad at all the cheese actually on this is really really nice it's quite a strong tasting cheese and I like that not too big either so quite a small little croque monsieur so hopefully I'll have enough space to have my filo fish as well which you all know what a filo fish is like from McDonald's like they sell them in almost every McDonald's it's quite a standard of McDonald's and like I said for me it's my favorite thing to get from McDonald's so I'm gonna enjoy that later on but the fries are good too there's not a lot of salt on them which I don't actually mind but I did actually see a lot of people complain downstairs whilst I was waiting for my meal a couple of people French people as well they went and asked for some more salt on their fries because apparently they didn't have enough salt so I don't know mine is okay I can tell that it doesn't have as much salt as it normally would from McDonald's but I'm okay with it it's good to not have salt for me I mean personally I eat a lot of salty food anyway so if I get to save on a little bit of salt it's probably good for my health so yeah I am now gonna enjoy the rest of my food this uh, filet of fish I've already finished my croque monsieur by the way and enjoy this lovely sunny view of uh, a part of Disney Village you've got the steakhouse over there as I mentioned earlier and then some elephants down there as well on the back side of Rainforest Cafe this is a lovely view and this is the rest of the upstairs area by the way in case you're wondering so quite a lot of tables and seats the orange juice is so so nice I just love fresh nice orange juice also interesting how they put them in like actual cups same with the water rather than in the UK they give you those like Tropicana bottles and honestly, I want a petition to get these pomfrit uh, sauce fries um, to the UK because we need something like this. I need a white sauce or something equivalent of to this. Like, it doesn't need to be the exact same thing. Just even mayonnaise, come on, the UK. McDonald's UK needs to do some mayonnaise at their restaurants, please. Anyway, here is one last look at the view that you can get from McDonald's. There's Panorama Magic over there as well. Some more tables and chairs over here. Like, quite spacious. And there's two levels. There's some seats outside as well. And I love that they have some random characters from, like, 90s McDonald's. McDonald's as well just chilling here but I'm gonna go downstairs now and collect my macarons and maybe eat outside and here we are back outside and already it's become a lot more busy than it was about what 45 minutes or so ago so most of the tables outside have actually been taken because the weather's so nice and the only ones I could find are some of these high chair ones but it's okay I don't mind I'm an adult I'm okay with these I understand that the regular tables and chairs are probably better for families with younger children so yeah I'm looking forward to trying all of this I didn't realize I accidentally must have got like a duo of macarons uh, in addition to the box that I got as well so yeah I'm definitely not going to be able to finish all these macarons today but thanks to this box I'm going to be able to take them home which is exciting and then here is the Mac Chocolates burger which is actually warm so I'm very intrigued about this okay so let's open this up the uh, Mac Chocolates burger oh wow it's it's very messy the chocolates going everywhere Lord have mercy so there you go this is what it looks like a little bit different oh my god chocolate drizzling everywhere right it's a good thing they give us some napkins because yeah this is gonna be pretty difficult to eat but there's some nuts in there as you can see and chocolate and it's nice and warm and yeah it's basically the shape of a burger from McDonald's so let's give this a taste 
first and this is incredibly messy like I've literally got chocolate all over my hands and my face as well probably it's nice though it's definitely nice something different especially if you want something sweet this can be a nice little dessert or a treat very nutty as well though because you saw the amount of nuts that they have in there I don't want to open this up again I did show it to you earlier because it's gonna go very very messy but yeah I do like it I think it's nice and cute I just wish it wasn't so messy to eat it because I mean I've just got this under the burger <laughs> under the choco burger to you know save all the chocolate that just keeps falling and not make too much of a mess on the table and I do realize that I've still got chocolate on my mouth as well so just ignore this but I'm gonna try my best to somehow enjoy this and uh, yeah after this we're gonna get to the macarons that McChoco burger 10 out of 10 for taste and also 10 out of 10 for messiness as well bring extra tissues and napkins with you if you're choosing to buy that from McDonald's but I really did enjoy the taste of it but we are now gonna get to the macarons now and like I said I love the box that they come in it's quite a unique thing to you know French McDonald's here now I need to find a way to open this box with one hand there you go so as you can see I did mention earlier that I was gonna go for all the different colors however I don't really like lemony flavored things and I also don't like raspberry too much so I decided to literally go for things that I do enjoy just because why not I don't want to you know have these go to waste I want to actually enjoy them and so I went for a, I think this one was a caramel one a couple of vanilla ones and then three chocolate brownie ones I think they were called uh, this is what the sizes are and again look at the view sorry <laughs> I keep getting distracted by the view that we have but um yeah nice size I don't particularly like I'm not the biggest fan of macarons so actually some of these as well I might uh, take home and share with my brother as well later on because he enjoys them but um, for now we're gonna try maybe one of each and uh, yeah see what we think just met a lovely viewer again I forgot to ask your name so please let me know in the comments if you end up watching this they said they've just arrived They're from the UK and that was really, really lovely but I'm gonna go with one of the chocolate ones first so there you go there's a chocolate um, chocolate brownie I think it was called a macaron let's give it a taste it's interesting because it is very much like brownie flavored so yeah the chocolate of course is there but it's got like a texture of a brownie and I can see why of course they've named it a chocolate brownie macaron rather than just a chocolate one it's nice like I said not the biggest fan of macarons personally but for those who enjoy macarons I would say this is a pretty good macaron next I'm gonna go for a vanilla one and this one's quite uh, quite fat quite tall I would say quite a lot of cream inside the macaron let me know in the comments by the way if you know how to make macarons because apparently it's meant to be quite a difficult process but I do know throughout like the first lockdown in 2020 a lot of people probably had some extra time and on their hands and did try to make some I wasn't one of those people I can't even really cook that well or bake just regular cakes they always end up quite dry but I'm gonna try this now okay yeah this is nice so far I think this is my favorite so between this and the chocolate one I do prefer the vanilla it's got a really lovely kind of soft taste of vanilla to it and very nice and kind of creamy inside as well yeah this is good and now it is time for the final one which to be honest I don't even remember exactly what it was I wish it was coffee flavored I feel like they definitely lack a coffee flavored one but I'm pretty sure this has something to do with caramel caramel I enjoy to some extent not one of my favorites again but I didn't want to just try a chocolate and vanilla one because those are the very famous basic ones so I thought I would give this a go I feel like some people might enjoy this so let's give it a taste oh I don't know if you saw that guys but something like a little, little fly nearly went into my nose that was stressful oh have mercy anyway yeah let's try this uh, caramel something macaron this one's nice as well it really is it's a little bit chewier for some reason I don't know why than the other two that I've tried so far it might just be that I picked this one up randomly but it is nice the flavor is nice you get a very kind of not too strong of a hint of caramel but you very much are aware that you're eating caramel it's lovely if you love caramel you're gonna enjoy it even if you're not the biggest fan of caramel like me because the taste isn't too strong you're still gonna like it weirdly enough I think I might prefer this and the vanilla one too the chocolate one and that's odd because normally I'm a big chocolate fan with everything but yeah this is nice I love the convenience of having this cute Mac Cafe boxer because I only ate two and a half of the uh, macarons so I've kind of kept the rest as well as the other two inside this box and it's so easy to put it in my backpack because it's not going to now fall anywhere my backpack's just chilling there so I can take that to the parks with me and then later on on the Eurostar home they do have a loyalty program by the way by the looks of it it does say here that if you download the app 
there's like a little loyalty scheme that you can maybe join and also the mad cafe here at mcdonald's is definitely worth visiting if you love sweet things because look at this poster they do some cheesecakes as well and i'm not the biggest fan of cheesecakes myself personally but you can get some nice unique cheesecakes here from mcdonald's in disney village as well if you wish to but for me i think that mcchoco burger was enough sweetness for the day it was really good though and mcdonald's i think is a pretty good option for families especially if you've got bigger families with you and loads of children this is a nice place to come to get like something that is recognizable for the kids they'll know what they're getting they've had it before more than likely or at least something similar to it and the prices of course are going to be pretty cheap as well especially compared to the other disney restaurants on site and you can have lovely views of disney village as well including the panorama Magique, especially on a blue clear sky like today it's just lovely it really is a lovely atmosphere so yeah just bear in mind it does get busy you saw how busy it got even for me when i was here at like quarter past 11 uh, but like i said if you come at peak time so in about an hour's time i would say it's currently about 12 30. if you come here at like 1 30 between 1 30 and 3 30 this place is going to be packed like really packed same if you come in the evenings just after park closing time or just before the fireworks also whilst we're here i just wanted to give a big shout out to one of my lovely viewers lauren lauren got me the t-shirt that i'm wearing today this toy story t-shirt and apparently you can only get this in america at the time so yeah really really thankful lauren thank you very much for sending this to me you know how much i love toy story but yeah that's more or less it with this video review experience of eating at mcdonald's here in disney village this mcdonald's is open from 8 a.m until midnight on weekdays and 8 a.m until 1 a.m if you come here on a weekend and that's the case right now i'm filming this in may of 2022 the timings might change if you're here in the winter months or january february time when it's low season but for now it's open quite a lot in terms of the inside of the restaurant though you saw a little bit of it it's nothing too special the food obviously is the main reason you're going to go there it is a bit unfortunate because back in the days when mcdonald's first opened here they had a full-on playground there for children uh, it just looks a lot more exciting for kids especially whereas now it's just you saw a couple of the characters mcdonald's characters from the 90s that they still had in terms of statues but apart from that there's really nothing extra to see there that you wouldn't be able to get in a local mcdonald's in your own hometown the coolest thing about this mcdonald's really is is the big M on the outside of the restaurant and like I said the food is good because it's something that you're familiar with. I hope you enjoyed this video though let me know in the comments down below if you've ever eaten at McDonald's here in Disneyland Paris or if it's something that you might do on a future trip. Like I said I don't normally go there but I understand that it can be a good option for bigger families and once in a while I go in there as well and sometimes if I'm staying on site actually in one of the official Disneyland Paris hotels because it's within walking distance to McDonald's I like to just grab myself something from McDonald's take it to my hotel room and just enjoy it and chill in my room but that is it for now thank you so much for watching this video subscribe for more videos like this follow me on instagram if you wish to and i really do appreciate your support i will see you in the next one bye